The last headphone is the captivity. The galaxy adapts. Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And what have we got today, Jay? Well, Spearhead Games have been kind enough to give us a preview of their new game, Stories The Path of Destinies. Woohoo! Let's check it out! Once upon a time, there was a hero. Yes, it's Stories The Path of Destinies. We got to play a short preview version of the game, and we're here to tell you what it is and why it should be on your gaming wish list. Stories The Path of Destinies is an action RPG being developed by Spearhead Games, a Montreal based independent studio that previously developed Tiny Brains and Arena Cyber Evolution. Although they are an indie developer, they do have a lot of AAA experience amongst their ranks, so they are definitely one to look out for. Stories is set in a fairy tale universe made up of floating islands. You take on the role of accidental hero Renardo, ex pirate, clever rogue, and fox. Ooh, I say! That's the animal. Ah. He's managed to get caught up in a war against the Mad Emperor, and when we meet Renardo, he is on the run from the Ravens, and needs to make a decision on what he can do to aid the rebellion. This is where story starts to get interesting. You are instantly met with a decision to save your oldest friend Lupino, who is being held captive by Ravens, or leave him to his fate and hunt down the pieces of the legendary weapon Sky Ripper. Both decisions have their advantages, Lupino can come up with plans that can help, whereas the Sky Ripper contains the power that can potentially turn the tide of war! What would you do? Sacrifice your friend to gain the power of the Sky Ripper, or risk letting the sword fall into the enemy's hands and save your friend in the hope that he can come up with another plan. The game constantly throws these moral dilemmas at you, and whichever path you decide to take changes the course of the game, so make sure you think long and hard before making your choice. The first thing you notice whilst playing stories is how good it looks. The artwork in the cutscenes is very nice, and the brightly coloured cell shaded environments really stand out. The combat is your standard mash square to deliver pain affair, with the addition of carefully timed counter attacks. You can also use Renardo's dash and grab techniques to aid you. Your standard RPG elements are also there. At the end of each battle you gain XP that allows you to level up and gain skill points. These can be used to purchase new abilities such as advanced combo attacks and to upgrade Renardo's health and stamina. Renardo's gear is also customizable using different gems and materials that can be found by thoroughly exploring the levels. Gems are equipped to Reynardo's glove using workbenches. These contain various different powers and upgrades. Workbenches can also be used to create new magical swords if you have the correct materials. These swords have unique powers that can be activated by holding R2. For example, the Firestorm adds fiery explosions to your attacks and the Hero Sword replenishes your HP. I'm assuming that's some sort of Hewlett Packard PC? No, 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 no. Uh, HP Source? Nope, definitely not that one. Oh, I give up. Hit points, Bren. That's hit points. I'll give you hit points. You can change what sword you have equipped on the fly by pressing the corresponding button on the directional pad. It's also worth noting that each magical sword is used to open corresponding doors. So, depending on what sword you have acquired, you'll be able to gain access to different parts of the level, which may contain greater treasures. Renardo is an ex-pirate after all. At the end of one of the two levels we had access to in this preview, you are presented with another choice, and as you would expect, they have different benefits relating to your previous choice. So the replay value of this game will be truly amazing. I am really looking forward to getting my hands on the full version of this game when it launches. There hasn't been a confirmed date at the time of recording this video, but we are told to expect it in early 2016. So, in the next few months, hopefully. Well done, Spearhead Games. Well done. Every choice has its story. Every story has its hero. What kind of hero are you? And there you go, so that was Stories, The Path of Destinies. Mm, colourful RPG from Spearhead Games. So, yeah. uh, from what you played then, how do you think the rest of the game is going to go? Hopefully much of the same as what we've already had. I mean, in the preview we only got, I think, two enemy type types, so... Right. You know, there's not a lot of variation in the way you fight, but I'm hoping the main game will feature some boss fights, more enemies, bigger locations maybe, because the two areas we got to explore were quite small. Mm -hmm. But like we said in the, the voiceover, 
we had different swords, we'd be able to open new areas to the map and find more treasures and upgrade some more stuff. So yeah. it's looking really exciting. Nice. And well, seeing as it's coming out very soon, uh, yeah. well, they said quarter one, didn't they? So, I mean, I suppose it's almost finished, almost ready to drop. I would have thought so. Looking from what you know, I played in the preview, it, it's very, it feels very polished. I mean, it's, I know it's only a preview, and mm. that's what they took to PAX South as well. Mm. That we, same we did, preview. We didn't really mention anything in the in the voiceover, but was there anything in there that you felt was perhaps like, oh, this doesn't feel finished, or is it all quite tight? It's it's all very tight apart from there's a there's a slight issue with the frame rate. Now I know we don't oh, like talking oh, about frame rate oh. here, but you would have seen in the footage and I can put some up now when your character's moving it does jump a little bit. So right. I'm assuming this is because it's it's it was through Steam, so mm -hmm. we played the preview through Steam, but the actual game's coming out on the PS4, so maybe it would have been fixed by then. Maybe. We can let it go because it's just a preview. But, yeah, uh, and frame rate doesn't really bother me anyway, but if yeah. I had one thing to pick on, it would be that. It would be that. Yeah. Well, that's that's only a small deal. That That is, like you said, probably going to be fixed straight away. I would have so. thought so, if it's not already. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, great one, Spearhead. Uh, looking forward to playing that in full. But sadly, that's all the time we've got for in this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. Because, you know, we do a lot of this kind of stuff every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. Anyway, <laughs> I've, I've been Brent. I've been Jane. And we've been Gamegasm. Gamegasm.